my parents are peasant farmers and we had to struggle through life. Sometimes I went to bed hungry, simply because there was nothing to eat. No, no matter how hard you try or how hard you work, the opportunity is not going to be there. I was searching for an um, organization that supports development uh, over the world. I always wanted to pursue higher education. On my own, I wouldn't be able to self-sponsor myself for studies abroad. When getting into a great university, I'm not having enough money to go through it would have been really difficult. I never imagined organizations such as Ofed uh, would support me. And that's the best thing that could have happened to me to get this scholarship. Ofed's scholarship program helps exceptionally talented and motivated students from the developing world overcome the biggest obstacle to higher education. Established in 2006, the program has dispersed $1.2 million to date enabling 21 students from 19 different partner countries to pursue graduate studies in a development-related field. All my family members, I mean, including my friends, were I mean, surprised that, you know, wow, you got into Harvard University. And then they were more surprised later when they got to know that I got scholarship from Ofid as well. <laughs> Ofid has sent scholars to 17 of the world's top universities, preparing them to be future leaders of their communities. 2010 scholar Robert Poizaga completed a master's in international development at the prestigious London School of Economics. I was a brilliant student, but I couldn't have, um, I couldn't have any scholarship to study, and I had no means of. Um, maybe achieving this second degree on my own. This development um, studies was very much informed by my background in poverty. I wanted to find out the, the main reason why my family was living in abject poverty. Not only my family, my community, people were not having access to better water, food, nutrition, was a lot of, um, these were some of the problems, so I wanted to find out the root causes of this. Robert authored several award-winning studies on issues of governance, accountability, taxation and foreign aid, and currently works as a regional development manager for an international aid agency back home in Ghana. I've been lifted out by our office, and my main priority now is also to help the rest of the people in my community, not only my community, in the region and anywhere else in the world where my services are needed. Scholarship recipients describe OFEED's program as a once-in-a-lifetime gift that has opened many doors. I think it has quite changed uh, a lot of things uh, about me, even the way I think about things, uh, the way I look at things. 2012 scholar Michelle Palacios achieved her Master's in Environmental Science from Complutense University in Madrid and currently assesses agricultural value chains in her native Guatemala. Women don't have the same opportunity uh, as men. In rural areas you can see it more intense. You can see how the work of women is not even seen by anybody and it is most of the time, the most important one is um, the person who is in charge of getting the water, getting the food, uh, take care of the children, take care of the whole home, and then work in, on the field. We are 14 million people. Only two or three percent of my country can go to school, and I was one of them. Similar to Michelle, most OFEED scholars are already affecting positive change at home. People say that Nepal is a poor country and, you know, it's a country mired in poverty, but uh, I, I believe that we are, we are a very rich country with regards to the potentials we have. 2013 scholar Bushan Guragain completed his Master's in Public Health at Harvard University. As medical director of an NGO back in Nepal, he sprang into action when massive floods devastated parts of his country in 2014. That's when I learned that, you know, psychological first aid and uh, psychosocial care support, how important it is as well. What we learned from that experience, we applied it in the, with the earthquake victims. Uh, the recent earthquake, which, I mean, killed more than 9,000 people. It has uh, damaged houses of around 500,000 people, I mean, completely gone. So we also, like, help them build houses. We still need full support from development partners around the world. 
OFID maintains close ties with its scholars, who continue to advocate for the institution long after graduation. I'm abroad, I'm abroad of this organization to belong to this organization. The idea that a huge organization is supporting you and uh, giving, like, uh, giving you the steps to go further with your dream. Ovid does a great job in sponsoring young people who can achieve something in the near future. To date, every Ofid scholar has successfully completed his or her degree. The number of scholarship applicants has skyrocketed in recent years, hitting 14,000 in 2015 alone, boosting Ofid's visibility and spreading word of its mission throughout the world. I felt incredible. I felt incredible because I know how hard it is to, ha to have this type of opportunities. It I'm happy, very happy, and I hope and wish for all uh, diligent students to get like this scholarship. OFID currently sponsors four scholars a year. The more lives OFID reaches, the more profound and long-lasting its impact will be. I'm very happy and grateful to OFID for giving me this opportunity and I really work hard to make this world, help make this world a better place for the poor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really thankful. Thank you won't, won't cover it. Thank you a lot. A big thank you.